I am Zeus King, this is crew Chris Pot Filter, and we are wrapping up the amazing events at Glory 17 and Last Man Standing from Los Angeles, California. Awesome night of fights. Amazing night of fights, and uh, and I just have to say something. I called it a couple weeks ago. I called it a couple weeks ago. I never bet against Joe Schilling. He's one of my, again, one of my favorite uh, fighters to watch him, and uh, a lot of the, all the Can't Stop Crazy guys, uh, Kevin Ross, of course, and all those guys over there. But Joe, I've always uh, respected Joe and always loved watching him fight. And just like I said earlier, when the cards are stacked against Joe, Joe performs, and that's exactly he what really he did. did. Exactly he, what he, he did. He came through. Uh, you know, he. He, he Simon had beaten him, had beaten him twice. Yeah. Now all the cards were in uh, Marcus's favor, and Joe Shelley came out there and said, "Not tonight, not in my hometown. This yeah. is how it's going to be." And then went on to just have an awesome yeah. night. Uh, they, they he got he, his revenge on Wayne Barrett. He most certainly, you know, did. even the score did. on there that was a very close fight. I hated the death fight. Uh, had to end. Uh, that, that was a, a, a tough fight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Artem Living, a very good. Middleweight fighter. He is. He excellent. is he's excellent. And I'm not taking nothing away from him. I think that he is. Uh, I think he's an amazingly technical fighter, uh, a beautiful fighter. I just, in my heart of hearts, the story of the night for me was Joe Shelley uh, because I, I love the comeback stories. I love the redemption stories. And uh, when you when you look at the two guys he had to face back to back, both had wins. You know, yeah. And he had never beat either one. Yeah. So uh, for him to come back and, and uh, smash it like that was was uh, worth my ticket price. <laughs> yes, I mean, he really, he, you know, Joe laid it all on the line. Uh, you know, pressed that, the, the first fight to the fourth round, got, you know, left hook knockout uh, in that, late in that fourth round. Uh, the left hook, once again, the story of the night. Andy Risty knocking out Kai Hollenbeck do, in 35 seconds in the first round. Uh, Hollenbeck uh, is a fantastic fighter, but he was stunned. He, you no. could tell he had no idea what his name was uh, yeah, was sitting there. It looked almost he, dangerous. Uh, it really was. It was scary. And uh, Andy Risty is certainly going to get uh, a shot at the winner of David Carey and Robin Van Roosmalen in the future. Uh, he is on a collision course with whoever the lightweight champion is. And uh, you know, I pity that the, the next fighter to step in the ring with him. Because when he's when he's focused and he hits you early, you got a long night ahead or a short one, and it's gonna you know you end up uh, with you know with your butt on the ground. <laughs> um, Gabriel Vargo did really well. Uh, handled sit one try. He did, and, and that was a fight that I didn't know. Uh, uh, I thought he was gonna have problems with sit one try. I was, you know, of course. I'm, I'm going to pull for the Muay Thai guys. Yeah. That's just me. But uh, um, that's not that I'm playing favors with anybody. I'm just, I just, you know, I've seen Sit One Chai fight uh, numerous times, and and I just feel like, uh, you know, I just felt like he he was a shoe in for that tournament. But uh, it was just, I mean, he Varga just, I mean, put it on the line and really yeah, uh, he uh, was, impressed he was, me. He impressed me. He made a fan that night. I think he, he I think he really pushed as hard as he could, uh, and did everything he could. I think he reached down and had to had to bring. A little bit more than he thought he could. I thought he looked better here than he did at Glory Eight in, in Japan uh, in that in that first tournament. So he's earned his uh, earned himself a spot in the World Featherweight Tournament coming up. He earned himself a nice Ramon uh, Diamond Decker's Memorial Trophy uh, for winning that. Uh, Shayna Blonsky was an excellent opponent for him. Yeah. Uh, Shayna Blonsky has got a great career in Glory. He does. Uh, he does. And I was. Uh, uh, excited to watch him. Uh, excited to watch him fight. I, that was actually one of the few times I've got to see him fight, and I was very impressed. Yeah. So he's too. got a great. great I career. think he's got a great. You know, the featherweight division has got a, a very deep, uh, stacked area, and I'm sure that uh, once they bring in uh, Gabriel Varga and, and the other guys, I know there's a couple guys from from uh, Tokyo like Yuta Kubo and, yeah. and uh, Inari. Uh, those guys are going to definitely be in that tournament too. Um, Mosev Armani, uh, there's uh, several great guys that are going to be in that featherweight tournament coming up. Um, of course, uh, Crow Cop kind of got revenge too because a lot of people didn't think he beat uh, Jerome Miller the first time in Croatia. So here in um, you know in, in Jerome Miller's home country, um, Crow Cop looked tiny. He looked tiny next to Miller. Miller, 300, uh, 275 pounds. 
very meaty big guy. But, uh, didn't uh, go down, but he. You but know, I mean, he found his he found his left kick. <laughs> yeah. So he definitely he definitely uh, found that that night, and uh, it was uh, you know shades of the old uh, Crow Cop. So. Yeah. And for, I, for guys was, his, his age and has been through the wars he's been through, uh, an admirable effort uh, to round out the, the spine card. Um, another surprise in the first round was Philippe Berlinden, who cracked Melvin Mano right in the face I and almost ended that fight if in the I first was round. A, yeah, if I was a bet man, I would not bet that. No, 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 I was. So, I I'm sorry, Philippe. Man. I'm sorry, my friend. We both exactly. wrote you we off. We both wrote you off. And I, I'm and sorry. Again, you made another fan. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you've you've won at heavyweight, light heavyweight, and middleweight, and you've impressed us all. Uh, you know, stick with it. You did well against the 11. He didn't finish you, so you know what you got to improve on, and uh, you know, get back to. You know, get back home and, and do that. Yep. Um, another great fight was the five-round fight for the Glory Welterweight title uh, champion, Mark Devon, put it all on the line against uh, Joseph Bazooka Joe Valtellini. A great fight. Great fight for both guys. And, uh, I mean, it, it's just, uh, I mean, Valtellini took some abuse and gave some abuse. And it was what Glory's all about was, was that kind of fight. Two top champions fighting out. Um, you know, I mean, just battling his face after the fight, he just like you can tell he's been through some wars. Yeah. But uh, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. I so mean, I, it I thought good. that you know it, it was so close. Um, I, I thought Demont had a small edge, but you know, uh, you know Demont's gonna he had a better fight this time in a loss than he did uh, when he won the title. So I, I think it's a you know, and he's 24. Yeah. That's a crazy thing. The guy's got 85, 89 wins. He's 24 years old. He's younger than Valtellini. Yeah. So he's got plenty of time to, to really, you know, to, to cash in on the next four or five years before his body really starts to break down from all these fights. Um, and then uh, the, the heavyweight title fight uh, was kind of a didn't really um, didn't really live up uh, to to. A real banging uh, fight, but but I mean, you had two guys who, who knew each other pretty well uh, and, and didn't want to get knocked out by the other guy. They really, I think they put it all on the line. It just didn't, it just didn't mesh. They just had a lot. Uh, it's one of those situations where you have almost too much respect for the guy. Yeah. Um, it was one of those situations. It's not that they weren't trying hard. It's just like you're both uh, know what you're both capable of. And it was uh, almost like they had too much respect. Yeah, and, I, and you know they, they trained together, and, and yeah. you know, and that was their Those second fight. Hard. So, uh, you know, amazing fight. You know, just a whole. You know, now now Rico Verhoeven, uh, you know, Glory tournament title winner, Glory world heavyweight champion, uh, Joseph Valtellini world welterweight champion, and. Our team living, uh, the world middleweight champion of glory. Another great night. We got no idea what's up for glory 18, where it's going to be, or anything yet, but we'll let you know. We thank you all for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next time. Sir. Thank you, sir.